Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change sale badge color for your Shopify store. And if you are wondering what I'm talking about, well, this one right here, as you can see, this sale. And not just on the product, on the collection page or future page or whatever. It's actually even on the product page. If I uh, access the products, it will show me the sale badge right here. I will show you how to change both color for the product page in here as well as on the collection page in here. And you will be able to set it to any color you want. Whatever if it's red or gray or even purple to attract the attention to it. I will show you how to set any color you want to the sale badge right here. And we will do that easily by adding a very short code that will work for every Shopify team. Whatever if you are using down team or any of the free teams, I did test them on multiple teams and it works just fine for them. So if you are to change the sale badge color for your Shopify store, this video will help you out. And not just that, in my next video, I will actually show you how to change the text on the sale. So instead of saying sale, uh, you can change it to discount or limited time promotion or any text in place of this sale right here. And that's really unique and you will not find this anywhere else on YouTube. This kind of tricks, you will only see them in this channel. And not just this. In my next video after that, I mean, you, I will show you how to change the text color for the discounted price. So the discounted price, the old price, sorry, is this one right here. And I will show you how to set a color to this new price right here. To be either a red or green or whatever color you want to. And that's really important actually because it looks much better once the customer access the product page he can see the discounted price more clearly and this is only two videos i will show you in this future if you did check out my channel uh, or the shopify store sorry you will see a lot of things here that you you cannot do from the team customizer for example the video banner right here and the transparent header with the video for the banner playing underneath the header as you can see even the hover effect for the menu as well as the hover color for the menu in here and the color for the drop down menu text in here as well as removing the cart icon or the search icon or even removing the underline once you hover over the menu it will show an underline underneath it I did show how to remove these lines and all these tricks I didn't mention right now you will find them on my channel for the code for them in the description box completely free you can just click on it and it will take you to the page where you can see that code and follow along with me in the tutorial the only thing I'm asking for, just like the banner says, just a like please. <laughs> just for the sake for this sad emoji right here. I would really appreciate it. So enough of me on my tricks and let's just quit talking and let's just get to it and show you how to change the sale badge color right here to any color you want. So I will keep this page right here open and we will access the Shopify dashboard and we will do the trick and come back in here, I reload the page and this one should change the color and we will access the product page as well and this one should change as well. So let's just get back in here to the home page. And after that, the next thing you're going to do is obviously access the Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the online store from the left menu, then click on the three dots on the left of uh, customize button. After that, click on edit call. And the next thing you're going to do right now is click on assets folder right here at the bottom of the page. Simply click on it and it will show you a lot of files in here, CSS files and GS files, uh, access base.css. It will be either base.css or team.css. But I think, uh, as always, most of the teams now, they use base.css. So simply click on it and it will show you some CSS code in here. And again, no worries, you won't have to edit any code or anything like that. As I said, I will provide you with really short code and completely free. And we will do the trick for you for changing the badge, uh, sale badge color for your Shopify store. And again, this trick will work for every Shopify team. I did test it on Refresh team and Sense team as well as down team, which is the one I'm doing demonstration now. So you will see obviously in front of you if it works or not. So after that, after you did access base.css, scroll down all the way down to the bottom page. Let me drag this down because it's pretty big file. And after that, make sure you do access a new line plotting on it. And to do that, simply hit enter. And here we go. We are in completely new line and nothing on it. 
After that, the next thing you're going to do is as always scroll down the description box and you will see a link named it as cold. And again, you won't have to pay for it or anything like that. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see a very short call that will do the trick for us, which is uh, six lines to be exact. And this little bit of cold will change both actually the sale badge color for the on the collection page or the home page as well as on the product page. So obviously the next thing you're going to do is select this call in here and make sure to select the whole call, even the brackets and even the first dot right here. If you did the skip on the first dot selected from here, it will not work. So make sure to select the whole call in here. So just select it, uh, right click and copy. After that, get back to the call editor and simply paste it at the bottom of the base.css. That's why I said access base.css so let's just paste it in here and after that you see this uh, hex code color which is a hashtag and some numbers or letters front of it this is the color that you can change so obviously simply select this uh, hex color right here and copy and access google search engine and simply paste it in here it will show you this little widget right here so play around with the color to pick a color that you want. Let me go for something. Let's just keep it green actually. Let's just go for something darker so the text will look properly. And after that, simply copy the hex color by clicking on this button right here and the hex color copy it. After that, get back to the base.css and replace the hex color with the new one. So let's just pass in the new one. Let's just change the, the other one as well. And after that, click on the save button right here. And after the changes will save it, we will get back to Shopify store and reload the page and the sale badge color should be this one right here. So let's just reload the page and then just scroll down to see if that would work or not. Uh, drums please, or <laughs> no drums, no drums. So let's just scroll down and here we go. Check out the new color right now, it's green. And let's just access the product page to see if that will work actually or not. So let's just access this one and here we go. As you can see, it's green now. And as I said in my next video, I will show you how to change the color for the discounted price right here as well as changing the whole sale if you want to display in here uh, discounted or uh, limited time promotion or anything like that you can change the sale text to any text you want but for now i think my job is done so that's how you change the sale badge color in your shopify store and as i said if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me otherwise i'll catch you in the next one